All right, guys, I'm going to show you how easy and inexpensive it is to get started on Bluehost to start your own food blog today. Bluehost offers features like a 24-7 support system and a money-back guarantee, among other things. And if you need extra help setting up your blog, they offer those services as well. From the Bluehost homepage, you click Get Started Now. And then you're going to be given a few plan options that range in prices. Now we're going to start with the $3.95 plan because it's a great option if you're just getting started. You can always upgrade if you need more features, more options in the future. Next comes the fun part. You get to choose a domain name. Now you can keep searching until you find one that is available, or if you already have a domain name, you can use that to open a new Bluehost account. And once you find one, congratulations, you're all ready. Next, you're gonna enter your account information. Pretty easy. And then you're gonna scroll down and choose some package details. Check them all out and see which ones you want. Now when it comes to these extras, I always choose the domain privacy protection as an extra fee. That's gonna make sure your identity is more secure, your home address, etc. Another one is the Site Backup Pro, which is a great feature if you want to make sure to really back up all your data. Another one is the Domain Security. This is one that you can add if you want to be aware of some spam filters and blacklisting, things like this. Read all the details and see if you want to add those features. Next, enter your billing information and then select any other upgrade features that you would like to choose from. In addition to the optional upgrades, you can choose additional domain names that are similar to the one you chose. If not, you can move on anyways. Then, boom, congratulations, you are now a blog owner with a new domain. So you can get started. Now the fun begins. Create a password and then you're going to log into your account. Once you're in your account, they have all these nice little side features that will help you get around so that you can know what to do, like installing WordPress. So click on the how to install WordPress helper and it will show you what to do. So hosting, click hosting. So you click hosting. It's all very easy. Then you're going to be at this dashboard with all these colorful little buttons that look overwhelming but are actually not that scary. So the next step is to install WordPress. And this is done with a matter of clicks. And if you don't have confidence in yourself, you can again, always hire extra help from Bluehost. Install, then you're going to click again. This page is for choosing the domain that you want to install WordPress on. This is mostly for if you have multiple domains, then that will become an issue. But since I only have one, I just click I have read the terms and then I install and it will be loading for a few seconds and when it's all setting up you'll get this little screen and in a few minutes it will say your WordPress install is complete and you're ready to log in to WordPress. If you want, you can go in and edit your profile, change your password, all that good stuff. And another important part about setting up your blog is your theme. Once you've installed WordPress, you can choose from a very wide variety of themes and templates for your blog. This is the way that it's going to look. And you can browse all the different templates, actually try them out on your screen, scroll through them, See if you like the look and the feel. Choosing a theme is a really important step, but remember, you can always choose one and change it later. Now back on your account page, you click on My Installs, and then click on Admin Login. This is going to bring you to your WordPress login page. That web address will be your domain name slash wp-login. Then you're gonna put in your username and your password, and log in to your WordPress account. Now, once you're logged into your WordPress account, this is where all the magic happens. This is your dashboard. This is where you're gonna create posts, 
edit your theme, etc., etc. So we're still setting up our blog, so I'm going to click on Appearances and then click on Themes. And that's going to bring me to a gallery of themes, free themes, and maybe some that I have installed. As you can see, I chose to install this theme, and once it's installing, you just click Activate. And then once you activate it, then you can customize it. Because until you customize your web page, it's going to look like this. This is a placeholder for it. So now we are in the customize our template section. And this is a whole lot of playing around. Some of you are going to love this aspect of it and some of you are not going to enjoy playing around with your theme. Now, as you can see, I'm adding some images, I'm customizing my menus, I'm playing around with the fonts, the color, the possible features that this theme might have. This can take a day, it can take a week, it can take a while to fully set up your theme. And this is true for both paid and free themes. Now again, if you want a little extra help, you can always pay the extra fee and have them set up your theme for you and you can get tons of support. You don't have to feel overwhelmed. But I know there are also a lot of people who love the creative process with setting up their theme and creating their blog from the ground up. So whichever one is you, choose that one. It does take a while. Once you have your theme sufficiently set up, you can start by experimenting with some blog posts. So you're going to go into the post section of WordPress and do a new post. You type in the title, the content, add some images if you'd like, resize your images, and again, play around with WordPress. If you're new to WordPress, it's definitely a learning curve here. It's going to take you a few days, a few weeks, a few months to get used to how it works but I promise once you get used to it, you're going to be writing posts like that. And it's going to be so fun and so much creativity can be done via WordPress. So we're still editing this post, trying to play around with the image size, center it, align it the way you want, and keep checking as you publish it on your website to see what it looks like. I'm pretty happy with what I did here in just a few minutes. And over time, in a few days, I changed this website and created it so that it looks like this. It's a basic website that is a placeholder for my brand new book. And I inserted the social share buttons, etc., etc. Now remember, Bluehost is available to you for only $3.49 a month to start and I think it's such a great option for people who want to get started on their own food blog or lifestyle blog, any website you want to start from the ground up and express your creativity to the world and really get started. I've been really happy with Bluehost and I hope this has showed you how easy it is to get your own food blog started. Good luck!